<laughs> Why are you mad? Why are you mad? Because I got used. For what? For views. Oh. And for clout. Oh. And I got tricked into being told that I was loved. So, who is this attention seeker JoJo's talking about? Many people had an obvious idea of who it was. Avery Cyrus and Jojo Siwa were claimed to be dating back in August. After only three months of dating, the two have called it quits. So, what happened exactly? Somebody commented on Avery's TikTok. Now I just want to know why. She responded with, We decided that we are better off as friends. We are both so young and still just trying to figure our stuff out. Which sounds too normal to be true. I don't, I don't know. In this picture Avery went to a cruise ship where she was joined by Jojo and a group of her closest friends. Apparently Avery invited Jojo as her plus one. And tickets were just non-refundable. So they went away even though they were already broken up. Imagine going with your ex to a cruise. Now that we're talking about exes, not many people have been a fan of JoJo's and Avery's relationship because of how it started. I miss my old life, and I miss the people who are in it. You guys know, like, I try to be as real as I can be. I've not been doing my best. She is Avery's ex, Sophia. And just within a week of the breakup, Avery was seen with JoJo. Even though both of them said cheating didn't cause the end of their relationship. People just think something was off. What? No, no, all right. I know that sounds bad. Many speculate if Jojo moved on and decided to do the same thing with Avery. I guess only time will tell. Avery told the people. From my perspective, me and Jojo left on great terms and are still friends. The relationship was very real and I have nothing but love for Jojo and her family. Aww. I'm still very hurt that Jojo broke up with me and am saddened and confused by the situation. Jojo decided to not respond. She's my girlfriend. We're girlfriends now. I'm so happy you said yes. Of course. I knew you were going to say no. My God. I was just nervous. I'd be insane if I said no. You're the best girl in the world. That video was taken just a few days before the disaster. To the public, Jojo and Avery became so close from one day to another. Just one day after confirming their relationship, Jojo and Avery made their red carpet debut. At the event, they both couldn't stop smiling. Now, it's like they never met. Avery also posted a TikTok saying, When I'm supposed to be in my healing era but a cute girl walks by. And then followed up with a caption saying, Don't hit me up. I'm in my healing era, unless just kidding. So, she's asking people to not hit her up but hit her up. What? <laughs> Seems like she's looking for attention if you ask me. Then somebody on TikTok who's been actively posting about this drama commented under that video. Avery once again, woman of the people, making things clear. Somebody followed up saying, since when though? She couldn't make things clear when she left for Jojo? Abruptly posting Jojo content doesn't count as clear. Which I totally agree with. Nothing about those TikToks seems clear to me. I believe she's moving on a bit too fast. Are you guys on Avery's side or Jojo's? What do you guys think? Is Avery just playing the victim card? Or is Jojo just telling the hard truth? Let me know in the comments. I answer all of them. Subscribe to never miss out on the latest news. And give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video to let me know.